Hi, welcome to Storytime. I'm Miss Dawn with the Terry Library, and as you can see, I'm in the library. From now on, I will be recording our story times at the library. We're not quite ready to be open to the public yet at this branch, but at the end of June, we are looking to open up. Um, it's not going to be a full open, but we'll be able to allow some people into the building. So be, sh be sure to be on the lookout for that. So you might have noticed that I have this board behind me. And on this board, I have a bed and these rectangle shapes. And those are mattresses. Do you know what a mattress is? A mattress is what you lay on in your bed. And under one of these mattresses is hiding a pea. There is a fairy tale where a princess sleeps on a stack of mattresses and there is a pea hidden under it. Do you know what fairy tale that is? It's called the princess and the pea. Well, why don't we see if we can find which mattress has a pea under it? And we're going to sing a song to find it and it goes like this. The pea is under the mattress, the pea is under the mattress, the pea is under the mattress. Which one can it be? Okay, well, we didn't talk about these colors yet, did we? We've got colors and patterns. Do you know what color this top one is? It's red, and it might be hard for you to see, but there's little red polka dots all over it. How about this next one? That's blue. And did you notice the blue zigzag pattern on it? Okay, how about this one? It's very colorful, isn't it? It's black with some animals on it. We've got a zebra and a monkey, a giraffe and a tiger. How about this one? It's white. Do you know what those are? Those are butterflies. We've got some colorful butterflies on that one. And how about this one? Do you know what this pattern is called? It's striped. Those are stripes. Can you help me with the colors of the stripes? What's this color? Yellow and pink and blue. And how about that one? Red. Very good. Well, let's try to find that P. The P is under the mattress. The P is under the mattress. The P is under the mattress. Which one can it be? Shall we try the red one? Let's see. No, no, it wasn't the red one. Let's sing our song again. The pea is under the mattress. The pea is under the mattress. The pea is under the mattress. Which one can it be? Which one should we try? The butterflies? Let's see if it's under the butterflies. <gasps> no, it wasn't there. Okay, let's sing our song again. The pea is under the mattress, the pea is under the mattress, the pea is under the mattress. Which one can it be? You want to try the animals? Let's see. Ah, there it is! We found it! Good job! Well, are you ready for a story? Alrighty! If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. Very good. The story that I have for you today is called Ivan the Terrier. That's a dog. It's by Peter Catalanato.
Once upon a time, there were three billy goats named Gruff. Can you see them? One, two, three. Hey, where did that dog come from? Is that Ivan? It is! Arf, 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 arf. Ivan, you naughty dog. You're ruining the story. Ivan, get back here. Ivan, look, do you see what he's doing? He's chasing those goats away. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to read a different story. Do you know what story this might be? Once upon a time, deep in the forest, there lived three bears. We've got Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Do you see what they're eating? Oh no! Sit, Ivan! Sit! Arf, 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 arf! This story is not about you, bad dog. Oh my goodness, look what happened. Everything is spilling. Heel! Ivan, heel! Oh dear, look what he's doing. Now he's chasing the bears. Oh dear. Let's try another one. Do you know what one this is? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Not again. Ivan, stay. Somebody grab him. Arf, 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 arf. Ivan! My goodness, what a mess he's made. Oh dear, the wolf doesn't look too happy, does he? Ivan, stop. You come back here right now. Ivan! Do you see? Look, he's chasing off those pigs. My word, I've never seen anything like this. Once upon a time, a little old lady baked a gingerbread boy for her husband because the two of them were very lonely. Oh, come on. Would somebody please grab that dog? Ivan, sit. Uff, 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 uff. Look, he's jumping all over them. My goodness, look at their faces. They look startled. Ivan, drop it. Shame on you. Don't eat that. Oh my goodness, the poor gingerbread man. Ugh. All right, I give up. There once was a little dog named Ivan. Now where is he going? Oh, I see. Good night, Ivan. I guess he was very tired from chasing everybody. The end. Well, speaking of being tired, let's bring back our bed and our mattresses and let's get them all lined up. And we're going to line them up just like in the story, The Princess and the Pea. And we're going to put them on the board like this. We're going to stack them just like they were in the story. And I've got a little rhyme for you. There we go. Look at how tall that is. That's a pretty tall bed, huh? Princess needed a ladder to get up on top. Well, this is called five comfy mattresses. Can you show me five on your hand? Your five fingers, one, two, three, four, five. And we've got one, two, three, four, five mattresses. And this is how the rhyme goes. Five comfy mattresses under a sleeping princess. But the top one was too pinchy. Hmm, why do you think it might have been pinchy? Let's look and see. Oh, she found 
a crab. Did you ever go to the beach and get pinched by a crab? That hurts. Okay, how many mattresses do we have now? One, two, three, four. Can you show me what four looks like on your fingers? Good job. All right. Four comfy mattresses under a sleeping princess. But the top one was too squishy. Hmm. What do you think might be squishy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are good ideas. Let's see what's under the mattress. Oh. <gasps> It's a banana. I can see if you laid on a banana, that would be pretty squishy. Ooh. Okay, how many do we have left? One, two, three. Can you show me your three fingers? Good job. Three comfy mattresses under a sleeping princess, but the top one was too noisy. Hmm, what could be noisy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it's a train. Could you imagine? Choo choo, chugga 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 chugga. That would be noisy, wouldn't it? Okay, how many mattresses do we have now? Two, one, two. Show me your two fingers. Good job. Two comfy mattresses under a sleeping princess. But the top one was too hot. Whew. What would make her hot? Hmm. Let's see what she found. The sun. That sure would make her hot. Mm-hmm. How many mattresses left? One. Show me your one. Good job. One comfy mattress under a sleeping princess, but it was too lumpy. What do you think would make it lumpy? Let's see. It was a pea. And so she ate it. And then she went to sleep. Well, at least she got some sleep. Alrighty, are you ready for skin a rink? And then I have a craft for you after that. Here we go. Skin a rink, a dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. Skin a rink, a dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a rink, a dinky dink, skin a rinky do. I love you. Good job. The craft I have for you today is to make a magic wand. This is the wand that I made, and I just got a straw. And you can use a stick, you can use a craft stick, a popsicle stick, a skewer. You can even go outside and find a stick. I think that would make a really neat magic wand. I cut out a star shape and you can see I did not make a perfect star shape. I made it a little bit wonky because I kind of like it that way. I decorated it with um, a foam sticker that I had. And you can decorate, you can color it in, you can put glitter on it or stickers, whatever you like. And I taped the star and two pieces of curling ribbon to the back of it. If you want, if you have curling ribbon and you want it to curl like that, make sure you have a grown up help you pull it along the edge of the scissors. Don't try that yourself. That's a grown up job for sure. So there's my magic wand. And if you want to make it extra special, you can cut out, sorry, I had to get it on the ground. You can cut out another star and decorate it and then glue then you can glue or tape it to the other side and you have a double-sided magic wand. Thanks for joining me today. I hope I see you again really soon. Bye-bye.